Right. So this one we're going to solve V equals L W H for H. By the way, this is actually the volume of a rectangular prism. It's um, width, no, that should be, sorry, height, height times length times width of a rectangular prism. That's what this is. Oh. Now if you take the length times the width, you'll get the area of the base, the area of the base. I'll just shade that in red. And then if you then multiply that by the height, you get the volume of a rectangular prism. And so that's what that formula is, in fact. Um, so I'm just going to give a simple example. I'm going to say the height of a rectangular prism is uh, two feet. The length is, oh no, we have to solve for height. Uh, okay, so we'll just call that H. Uh, the length is uh, four, the width is three. And then the volume, by the way, is going to be four times two is eight times three is 24. So our V is going to be 24. So this is, what if L was four and width was three and the volume was 24? How would we find the height? And our, our formula would look like this. It would look like this, 24 equals uh, L is four, width is three, and height is just H, right? And the way you would solve it, if you had 4 times 3 times h, which is just 12 times h, right? You could divide that by, well, you could just divide it by 12, can you? Does that make sense? Because that's yeah. just 12 h. So, so here we just have, you know, 24 equals basically 12 h. And we just divide both sides by 12. And we get, you know, 24 over 12 is 2 is h. The height is 2. Um, but I'm just going to something a little bit more technical and fun. I'm going to divide by 4 times 3. And 4 times 3 is 12, isn't it? It's 5 yes. by 4 times 3. Here we go. And, and now we have 24 over 4 times 3 equals h because the 4 and the 3s cross cancel here. See that? Because they're all being multiplied, so they cross cancel. See that? So our h equals 24 over 4 times 3, or I'll just do that. That's 24 over 12, which is 2. I mean, our height is 2 in this case, right? And so yes. that's a particular case of a rectangular prism, but this is for any rectangular prism in the world, possibly. To solve for h, you simply divide by the length times the width. 4 times 3. And similarly over here, divide by length times width. And then that's how you solve for h here. Simple as that. Does that make sense? Yes. All right. So the, the L cross. and the W cross cancel. Cross cancel, yep. And you have V over L W or L times W. You can put a times there if you want. It doesn't matter. Same thing. Equals h. Just like in our special case over here, we had 24 over 4 times 3. Right. Yep. So there we go. That's that one.